What's going on, Mandy? So it's such a mess. We need to tidy our kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> we prepared to do daily videos. Um, uh, I've just been to yoga. I haven't moved yoga. my body properly in like way too long. It's just terrible. The life of new It's like the Tin Man. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You used to do yoga a lot, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I love yoga. I like running really fast too. You know how I talk fast? I run. Fast. Well, oh, yeah. I don't run fast at the moment. We we did have a, a couple of complaints yesterday from Americans who can't hear. Trying to slow down. <laughs> Americans who aren't used to your accent. No, I also have a cold, so I sound weird as well. Um, anyway. Slow down. <laughs> Just keep reminding me, okay? Yeah. We need some kind of thing on the phone that goes, do, 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 like a speed limit. <laughs> like in the car. You're already like, there's no oh, point sorry, reminding sorry. you. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm like, I've done you go, yoga. You go, Just keep reminding me, okay? Just for a moment, slow down. I'll just slow down. When I walked out of yoga, I was like this. Mm, and everything was slow, and now I'm back in. So. Um, I wanted to say one thing because I was wanted to clarify that yesterday. Oh, hang on. Me. What, um, um, I didn't get hungry at all, but I wanted to talk about the fact that you should not um, restrict anything. So don't deny yourself any food ever. No. Like just keep eating because I wasn't. I never felt hungry, but I felt like I didn't have enough to operate at the level I needed mm. to, and um, and that's because I had a few more demands on me than normal. Like, sorry. That's because I had a few more demands mm -hmm. on me than normal. Like, um, we're just working really hard at the moment, and um, the kids are home full time, and and also I'm breastfeeding still, not heaps, but enough to need more, just more going in. So I just wanted to say that if you're, I would have been perfectly comfortable in my normal state to not eat any more than I did yesterday, but then I suddenly felt I need way more calories right now because I didn't realise it had only mm. been about four hundred. So it's more. okay to. It's okay to be. Yeah. It's okay to not stuff yourself all the time. That's okay. It's also yeah. okay to eat way more and feel yeah. really full because so I felt actually is, too full at the end of the day. Just to clarify, the rule is eat as much as you feel like as often as you feel like it. There's no mention yeah. of hunger there. No, don't. There's no hungry. mention of making sure that you wait until you're hungry or there's no mention of any of that on purpose because... Even if you're the, bored. Eat even if you're yeah. bored. It doesn't matter. So, but it, notice that. That's so what you didn't doing. feel like eating yesterday until you felt like you needed more energy. I just and then felt like I needed to yeah. feed my brain some carbs. Cool. That's what happened. So um, now I've got. So I want to talk about these folks, even though they annoy me because they never never write back. But this is the place called Gewurzhaus. It's a German um, name. German name. Um, it's a spice and um, herb shop, and they uh, fr uh, not fry them. I'm frying this. I'm water frying this. I'll show you them. They. Um, blend their spices and ground them and everything on site and it's amazing and I want to organize some kind of deal with them so you can get yeah, them. They should, they should sponsor They should sponsor they should they, give Well they should, give some, they should give some kind of discount to our spuddies because I'm going to recommend them because they're so amazing for this um, challenge because it just, well variety is the spice of life in some way. We know we don't think about that in generally with food in general but, but like this is Spanish skewer barbecue spice. They have an amazing array of Australian bush herbs. Let's not make this a whole big ad for them. No, no, I don't want to. But <laughs> but it's not just them. Like yeah. I I don't gen generally buy a whole lot of single spices and mix them. That's too hard for me. I just can't be bothered. So I buy blends. Is what yeah. I'm saying. So yeah, I happen cool. to have found a good one. So anyway, I'm just going to use this chimichurri to, on these potatoes. These potatoes today because I'm starving. I'm water frying. So I just put water in a tiny bit of stock, onion powder again. That's my base for everything. And then um, chimichurri herbs, parsley, basil, oregano, thyme, salt, cilantro, savory, black pepper, garlic, paprika, red bell pepper. What is chimichurri? Like, where's the? Where's oh, it says it. It's Argentinian, I think. Argentinian. Yeah. All right. Cool. Be whisked away to the wide open spaces of Argentina's pampas. There you go. So, oh, that's a bit. Yeah, that's quite a lot there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a, I'm a, but I love it. All right. <laughs> Anyway, so there you go. It's just, that's, that's all. Well, once, you, once you've mixed it in, like it's spread out over all the potatoes, it's not, it doesn't look quite as much as it did when you mm. first put it in. No. So it's not going to fry up in here or anything. Like you could crisp it in the air fryer after if you wanted, but I'm too hungry. I want to eat right now. Yeah, you've done an like, hour and a half of yoga for an the hour first time ago. in years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's like you're going to be hungry. I wasn't after high that. intensity or anything. Yeah, but still, it's moving. I did have a coffee. I had a coffee before you. Yeah. <laughs> and then I felt bad actually. It's also clean in there. Well, let's come back in a minute. There you go, well, it's done. That's it. Oh, it's done. That's, oh, that's just quick. nothing much to it. There you go. Herbs you don't fry for long. Yeah. Um, like, yeah. Spices, right. you, can, you let them go for a little bit. Well, let's eat then. Let's eat. I forgot about, I just add lemon to most things. That's it. 
So, um, got really hungry again. Not prepared enough. There's mash, don't feel like it. Andrew made mash earlier. Um, we had a big bowl each, that was yummy. In fact, it's amazing, it was a really good one. Um, but right now I'm doing chips, skinny ones. They've got nothing on them, it's just cut up raw potato in the air fryer. And this is, oh, and in here, sorry, in here is sweet potato, big tray, well, small, medium tray actually. And then I've got here fresh dates, bejewel dates, capsicum and uh, bell pepper, red bell pepper, and um, yummy tomatoes. And I'm going to cook all of that. Some of these, are, I'm going to make all of this into a paste. And, um, Sauce. You're making a sauce. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> this is break. I'm gonna call that into a paste, and I'm gonna use some of it to make um, some kind of topping for the sweet potato and have that as a dessert. And these, all three, I'm gonna use the rest of that and some of this to make tomato-based pasta sauce for the boys. Um, like roast, I'm gonna roast this, and um, also we can use a bit of it as tomato sauce on top of whatever potatoes we've got. There we go. Or Dave? later, we'll put this in the oven. I don't measure anything or I just guess everything. That's we'll, what. We'll probably end up putting all this in a cookbook at some point. You'll yeah. have to measure it. I'll tell you what I've done at the end, but I just keep adding and, until it tastes right. <laughs> Very scientific. Yes. All right. I thought I'd show you around how I, what training I'm doing. Uh, just before I start, it's absolutely not essential to train and exercise hard when you're doing the Spud Fit Challenge. Exercise is great um, for lots of reasons, but it's not necessary. It's just do it if you feel like it. I happen to really like exercising and I like exercising hard. And, uh, and also, I, I used to uh, do a lot of scooting, a lot of long distance, long sessions, but two kids now and a, and a different life. I've still got the scooter there for people who ask, another bike behind it. So I've still got it and I still like using it and I go riding on it sometimes, but I don't have as much time to do long, training sessions like I used to and, and I feel like if I'm on the scooter I need a longer training session so I, um, at the moment I'm doing shorter training sessions and, uh, and much more intense hard training sessions. Uh, this circuit that I'm about to show you I started doing it about six weeks ago. I started at half an hour and I've built up now to 50 minutes and I'm aiming to get to a, an hour and then once I hit an hour I'm going to start making it harder. Um, so. That's the way it goes for the moment. Now I'll show you the, the stations. There's my kayaks, by the way, my favorite things. There's, there's the two ocean kayaks and a flat water racing kayak. So station one, skipping. Skipping rope, jump rope. For some, some parts of the world you call it jump rope. So one minute of jump rope, that's the first station. One minute of jump rope. Second station over here for the battle ropes all right so yeah you get that going one on each hand that's the second station a minute of battle ropes no rest in between by the way then we come here we've got kettlebell swings i've got a 40 kilo here and a 20 kilo here so the 40 kilo that that'd be like i don't know 85 lab lab van drone plus that'd be like 85 pounds i guess 2.2 so four, 88 pounds and then the that'd be like 44 pounds so um, I, I do half of the minute on that one and then half on that one because I'm, I'm not able to do the full minute with the with the heavy one so I'm working up to doing the full minute but at the moment it's half on that one and then half on that one and that's a that's a minute of kettlebells um, again no rest then we jump straight over here got a 10 pound sledgehammer which I smash against this big roll of carpet again another minute um, and then after that I step backwards and that's the car I've got a bit of carpet there that's where I put my hands so they don't get hurt while, while they don't get all um, scuffed up and uh, all that sort of stuff while I'm doing burpees I do a minute of burpees uh, I'll have to if you don't know what burpees are then uh, google it I guess B-U-R-P-E-S I'll have to uh, have to get Mandy to film me doing this session at some point so you can see exactly what it looks like but uh, maybe I'll say good day again when I've finished doing it, but trust me, it is hard, and uh, and I am really wiped out by the end of it, and it's a good feeling. So uh, there you go. If you wanted to know what I'm doing for exercise these days, that's it. It's been a long time. 
without much exercise since our second son was born. But yeah, as I said, like six weeks ago, I decided enough's enough. I've got to get shape happening again with uh, as far as fitness goes. So I'm going to hit it. Just me here, Mandy, because Andrew's training. Here are the air fried chips. They look amazing. There you go, look at that. I put vinegar on and a bit of um, smoked garlic salt. Any vinegar, any salt would do, or no salt, even better. Some herbs, whatever you like. Hot sauce, go for it. So here are the roasted tomatoes, capsicum and dates. I'm now gonna blend, mm, not quite half, maybe, maybe those bits of dates and then um, the rest of it. And I'm gonna make a pasta sauce for the boys because I'm cooking the boys pasta in there, I will be, and the water boils. And then I'm um, gonna make a date topping thing for sweet potato. Here's Teddy. So I made that pasta sauce. I ended up adding to the tomatoes, dates, and um, capsicum. I ended up adding onion powder so and fresh basil. <laughs> Mine is tiny because um, I actually ate all those chips, as you saw earlier. And we added, oh, hang on, what was your favourite secret ingredient? How does that look though? Like? Fresh basil? Oh, and the secret ingredient on top that you're always having in pasta. Yes. Yeah, nutritional yeast and garlic salt. Smoked garlic salt. So Teddy's got wholemeal pasta with that sauce and wholemeal. And oh, I'm also my yeast. baby brother. Yes, there he is. Okay, and um, there's mine. There's mine. Let's go. So I scraped off most of the sauce, as you can see. I'll save it for something else. Um, also, I forgot to film at the end of my training session. So you didn't get to see me all hot and sweaty. I'm sure you're disappointed about it. <laughs> but it was very hard. <laughs> it was very hard. I'm I sure did... all our neighbours that walked by. And, and also I was going to be away. on the camera. Yeah, yeah there you yeah, are. And there you are. So I did a 50 minute session. It was very, very hard. I struggled at the end. And then I had a long cold shower to, uh, to help me recover and get rid of the sweat. I love my dad. Oh, I love my son. Mwah. Teddy's less oblivious then, um... than last time, isn't he? <laughs> And Frank's not though. Frank wants to be on camera. Frankie! Right. Frankie's just we a really naughty baby. Yeah. Make right. sure you Mommy, don't watch him. Oh, okay. Anyway, more later. Yeah, right we, after we've had a sleepover, so there's mess. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy here. So I have gotten the sweet potato out of the oven. It's been going for ages. And look at that. That's There's no oil. That's just... The sugar, the natural sugars from the sweet potato, so good for you. Um, I was going to actually try and do those toasts, those little, the, like as in toast sweet potato in the toaster, um, like I've seen around and see if that works. I think people do it from raw. I don't see how that works, but I might do it. But I'm also just going to make, because it's so yummy, I'm going to make a date syrupy thing with some vanilla and cinnamon or maybe nutmeg, I haven't decided yet, um, to just sort of dab a tiny bit on top to eat sweet potato with as a dessert um anyway but i just want to show you that before i even begin because look at that it's just so it's just um caramelized on its own delicious i forgot to film before i ate half of it but there is my sweet potato the toast didn't work although actually it would work but it just didn't work the way i did it, it need to be big bits got stuck in the toaster i haven't told andrew yet <laughs> uh anyway this is um a sweet potato with a date paste, a tiny spoonful, like half a teaspoon of the, the blend is six dates and some vanilla, like essence, the proper uh, extract, I mean, um, and nutmeg and cinnamon. I just went the double. And, yeah, that's it. It's delicious. Um, you could probably do with less of the stuff on top. It's so ridiculously sweet. You would need hardly anything. Day two in the bag, done and dusted. Rock and rolling. It's uh, no surprise for me. It's actually easier than it was last time. I, I fully expect it to get hard. Uh, like I've said before, like once you once you run a marathon successfully, that doesn't mean the second one's going to be easy. So I expect this to be hard. But so far, uh, yeah, I, not not super hard. But um, yeah, not easy, but yeah, much easier than last time. Anyway, enough out of me. This video is long enough already. If you want to join us, click the link below. Uh, we're, we just join us anytime. We're not going to cut you off. Just, uh, just get involved. Um, all right. Like, subscribe, comment, share, all of that. Let me know how you're going. And uh, 
We'll see you tomorrow. Spot up.